Oh, this looks like a dangerous ring to be in. Not gonna lie. This looks like there's a lot of good stuff in here. And some real bad surprises. Uh, I'm gonna save just in case it's like... Like horrible stuff happens to us in here. But I'm just gonna walk over to the ornate chest. Impalement. Uh, spikes impale all characters and items, setting tripled and dealing uh, 30 to 33 th uh, ground damage. Also creates an oil puddle. That's what that one undead um, piece of crap did to us at first. And then we all were set on fire. Um, okay. Requires Geomancer 2. Okay, that's pretty good to have. Gold, there's some uh, intelligence potions and an unidentified spear. Let's identify it. Uh, 3 to 4 water damage and uh, 18 to 19 physical damage. Uh, it has a 150 crit chance, uh, plus 1 finesse, plus 1 warfare. Set chill for 1 turn with a 10% chance. Requires finesse 11, grants all in. Um, eh, I mean, it's, it's good. Don't get me wrong, that's a good weapon. But not really for anyone here right now. There's another crafting bible. That's great to see. Uh, a tattered blueprint. Can we um, take a look at it? Yeah, let's read it. Uh, upon this page is drawn a blueprint of a tomb or vault of some sort. Underneath the drawing, words are scribbled seemingly at random. The words illusions and Bracchus Rex are circled multiple times and an arrow points to a particular room. The, the, the words soul jars are written along the length of the arrow in tiny letters. Okay. Okay, so something about the soul jars of people being uh, held, I suppose. Anything good in the row of books? Nothing in this one. There's a true brew, a guepinia. Let's read it. Uh, the guepinia is used in some of the spiciest meals in Rivelon. Flame belly curry, volcanic pork, and burning custard all owe their intense flavors to it. But guepinia is also used by brewmasters specializing in magical resistances. Needless to say, it helps protect against fire. That makes sense. And there's also some paper. Very nice. In this one. Uh, Hubert's Encyclopedia, Volume 18, Roguery. Let's read it. Of rogues. In his short description of a particular specimen of Vagabond, he claims to have encountered in his travels across the land, Hubert uh, talks of shadowy skills largely involving short blades and the ability to liberate people of their belongings with or without their prior knowledge, or indeed their survival. Okay, that and some more, babe, uh, some more paper. Very nice. Nothing in that one and nothing in that one. Okay. What do we have here? Uncanny evasion. Uh, the character's dodging is increased by 90% and movement speed is increased by uh, 20%. Uh, set evading for one turn, one memory slot. Um, requires arrow thurge too. Okay, that could be good. That could be good. If someone is getting low on health using that. And then most likely dodging all attacks. Okay. Yeah, sounds good, sounds good. Now on the other side. Some of the books can be quite good, so I want to be um, want to be thorough here. Uh, yeah, this is empty. Oh, okay, so I can loot if I want and uh, Beast's Luck Charm just carries over. Armor of Frost Scroll. Ice forms a defensive barrier around the target, providing 46 magic armor. Uh, cures burning, poison, stun, frozen, suffocating, and petrified. Okay, very nice. That could come in handy. Some gold and some uh, some money as well. Uh, gold and money. Gold and paper is what I meant. Uh, more books. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. There's Rhymes of the Scribes Part 2. Come on, uh, let's read it. 
I can detect one recipe from this book, but this reads more like a puzzle than a recipe. I will have to experiment with what I can learn from these rhymes. Creepy dead magic requires one shadow and ghoulish ingredients, skulls, bone and marrow. With parchment and paper you then can compose malevolent magic and sinister scrolls. Okay, creepy dead magic requires a shadow, and ghoulish ingredients, skulls and bone marrow. Uh, shackles of pain. Oh, that's the one, uh, the one outside used. Okay, uh, we can take a look uh, at that in the no wait in the crafting menu, not not in this menu in here. Uh, recipes, grimoire, I would assume. Shackles of pain. There we go. It requires a skull and any shadow essence. Okay, makes sense. We could craft that. Um, wait, fortify. Why bother with uh, going back? I'm just quickly gonna fortify myself. There we go. No longer deceased. Completely forgot about that option. It's, again, you know, the old story. Okay, I'm deceased again. Uh, great, great, fantastic. Uh, so is everything in here just gonna decease me? Oh, wait, Fortify probably just removes it for a bit, huh? Until Fortify wears off. The disease is gone, and when Fortify is gone, the disease is back or something like that. Or I got diseased again, but I doubt that a regular just row of books is just gonna make me diseased. Crafting Bible, I should have read it immediately, but uh, I didn't. Oh, I... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh... Crafting Bible. Wait, wait, that's not it. Latest. Uh, last picked up. Crafting Bible, part 5. Let's read it. Uh, this veritable tome of knowledge teaches you a plethora of handy adventuring recipes. 11, re 11 recipes. Wow, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um... Minor finesse potion, fire resistance potion. Come on, scroll please. Oh, healing potions. That seems good. I'll just craft those two right now. Because why not? A minor wits potion, air resistance potion, earth resistance potion, minor constitution potion. Minor Healing Potion, Minor Intelligence Potion, Minor Resist All Potion, uh, Minor Strength Potion, Minor Wits Potion, Physical Armor Potion, Small Magic Armor Potion, Water Resistance Potion. Okay, that's pretty good. So uh, a whole heap of potions we learned from that one. That's nice. Glad I saw that one. And then on the other side, anything in here? Doesn't look like it okay that's fine then i mean one side having something useful is enough honestly and now look this lever what does it do i heard something something seemed to move into place okay probably on the other side then let's go through here and also let's save now, what moved into place here? Uh, let's see, let's go up there. Did something open, maybe? Uh, let's look around. Um, maybe something up here? Uh, what moved into place? We've been through here. I doubt it has anything to do with the well. I'm gonna check anyways. That's probably just gonna be the same thing again. The well remains. Yeah. As Some, but something moved into place. Let's see what 
would that be? Maybe it's outside. Who knows? Um, all right, let's keep going through here. Maybe it's in that room with the annoying skeleton lady. No, wait. No, this was opened before I opened that before. Was it in this room? You're just still up there. Scurrying about. That's fine. Doesn't seem to be anything in this room specifically. Not here either. Maybe something out there. No, um, let's see. Anything out here? It doesn't look like it. It's all the same over here. I wonder what that did then. Did it solve something we already otherwise solved? Like maybe open some doors that we lockpicked maybe? I could imagine that that the doors we lockpicked were opened by that, you know, by that lever, like this one maybe, since getting through here seems rather, you know, like the point of this place. So uh, I could imagine that just uh, opened this door. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Uh, that means we're gonna leave again you again. You're annoying. You know that? You're real annoying. Nobody likes you, uh, Tamsin. And you know what else, Tamsin? I think if I find your soldier, I'm just gonna keep it. I'm just gonna keep it. Because nobody likes you. Um... Let's keep going. Do we just go to the door? Can we just leave? Um, that does not remove slowed, so that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna walk out here. I mean, the zombie doesn't have opportunity attack, so it doesn't really matter uh, in the grand scheme of things. You, you're just gonna keep walking. And beast, so are you. Here we go. Ah, Fane, you're quite far back, huh? That's unfortunate. Um, you're probably gonna get hit by the um, skeleton at some point. But we can live with that. I... Uh, not skeleton, the walking corpse. It's probably not too strong. Ah, shackles of pain. Yeah, yeah. Sure, do that. Oof. That's a relatively big hit there. Um, okay. Just... Ah, you know what? Cast haste on yourself. And the zombie is marching after us, slowly, sure, go for it, you're real threatening, wow, there you go, nearly reached us too, I'm just gonna leave you behind, that's how little I care about you, okay, um, Beast, can you... Ah. Oh. There we go. We didn't have a uh, beast selected at that moment. Uh, you, you're just gonna walk ahead. You're still slowed, but that's gonna wear off. That's fine. You end your turn. Then you go all the way up here. The chain is really irrelevant here. There we go. What are you going to do next? Okay. 
you can leave. There we go. You're outside. Now, beast. You're gonna wait for the zombie to slowly come closer, but not reach you. There you go. And you go upstairs. And Losa is gonna go upstairs. Goodbye to the others. Um, there we go. There we go. Alright. Oh, no, I'm, I'm still deceased. Uh, yeah, um, what was it? It was either Bless, which requires some, uh, some source. Uh, or it's gonna be Fortify, but I, that seems like it's not permanent. Or, um, First Aid, which Ifen has. I'll craft one more uh, scroll of Fortify, just in case it really was, uh, it, you don't have to jump to the very top if you reach the bottom, uh, if it really was one of the, one of the books that re-deceased me, but I don't think it was. I know, uh, Losa is one of the scrolls, so, um, let's scroll down there, come on. Fine. Uh, you know what? You can fortify other people as well, so, um... Losa, just... just... just, uh, do it from here. Fortify... Sibara, please. Okay, apparently... No, it's back. It's back again. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the, um... No, wait. Do we explore here a little bit more? Before we have to find our way back in from a teleportation spot. Um, or a fast travel point is the uh, more, you know, more fantasy term for that. Oh, Another I did not bit. see that door there. My bad. Uh, do we have traps in here? You know what? Just in case. I'm going to... Um, Unchain me. Now I'm gonna go through there on my own. There we go. Maybe Thane would have been the best choice because there's poison clouds and all that around, so he could just heal himself. But there's a chest and I want to look inside. There's a water arrow, um, an unidentified one. Let's identify it. Uh, 11 to 12 poison damage. Plus one intelligence, creates a one meter poison surface uh, when targeting terrain, sets blinded for one turn with a 10% chance, and plus 7% lifesteal. That's not bad, that's not bad. Uh, medium finesse potion, a plate that's worth 70, it's, it's golden, and 201 gold. Very nice. So we got that at least. Uh, and what's through here? Another skull crumbled a bit. Yeah, that's another skull. Skull. Oh. <laughs> it's just another way here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else. Let me quickly take a, a look at the map. I don't think there's really anything else in here that we haven't explored. Like this corridor we didn't explore, but I feel like that's just another way to get here. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I'm going to teleport myself to the, um, what's it called, to the, uh, sanctuary. I'm gonna quickly bring in Ifan for some first aid. Hopefully that will cure that for good. I don't have to be like this until I find source. There's Ifan. I have to send someone away first. Um. Uh, I know Losa stays here in the water, so I'm gonna send her away. I'd say we should stop to talk, but I'm swamped. <laughs> uh, let's I go a separate way. to dismiss your companion. Oh, really now? Well, well, well. I guess this makes us mortal enemies. For now, at least. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Good if, work, um, son. Please join Not me real so quick. Soon. Changed your mind about teaming up. 
Yeah. He grins, sharp teeth glittering in the midday Sorry sun. Sorry for giving you false hope. Right you are. Lead the way. Oh, while we're at it, I will have the respect to remove your source collar. No curse, because, like, yeah, I you don't have to wear that. Safe. You don't have to I wear that. You'll show your your metal That's suit. not where I meant to go, but, like, when something is in the foreground, of course, it's My gonna to serve, click on sir. that. Right. If I'm... Can you talk to uh, Leia, please? Hello again, sweet one. Uh, ask if she can remove the source collar. Yes, of course, of course. She extends her arms, reaching towards you with a look of total concentration on her eyes. You feel the collar start to twist, a living, writhing thing fighting for survival. With a scream of tortured metal, the collars snap, falling broken from your necks. No more choking. No more silence. You'll never be a slave to them again. Um, thank her and take your leave. Smile and shake her hand. Tell her you're grateful to be free. Let's go with We're that one. We're so grateful to have Gareth back. Thanks to you, we have hope. Thanks to you, we're going home. Okay. Now, first aid. It would be very useful to have that permanently with us, but... It's back? It's just back? Do I need Bless to remove it completely? Oh my god! <laughs> so this, this disease is really, really annoying, huh? Well, it was a nice try. Man! The air out here is a damn sight better than in Fort Joy, eh? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, we venture enough for now. You certainly want to dismiss your companion. His eyebrows shoot up, and a wry smile crosses his lips. Can't say I'm not sorry to see you go, but you'll be all right. These swamps won't get you down. Good luck yeah. out there. Might be we'll see each other further down the road. Maybe. Um, okay, now, Nosa was... Blessed Armadia. Yeah, there we go. Hey there, old buddy, old acquaintance. Want to team up again? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay myself. Lead the way. Very good. Okay, so uh, no cure in sight for now. I guess we're going to have to venture into uncharted territory and hope for some source to cure me from this goddamn disease. Otherwise, I might have to reload before I walk into that stupid trap. Um, yeah, like, I don't know, that that not going away is a bit annoying. Let me quickly take a look at the map. Where do we go next? Now, this we have explored. This is just the Tower of Bracus Rex. That seems like the goal for the whole thing, uh, you know, for this whole place. Uh, where was the, the, the screamer, uh, the, the, the screecher? Was that here or here? I think it was here, right? Blocking the way into this place, maybe? Let's go to the Hollow Marshes. There we go. Yeah, the, the, the Screechers over... Uh, the Shriekers over here, that's the name. And we have one of those wands. I guess Losa could use a wand? Um, right, uh, also, Fane, your stuff. Right, I want some air damage, but man, this does so much damage. This does so much damage. Let's hope we don't need any fire immune foes anytime soon. It just does so much more damage. It just seems worth it. Where do we have the um, staff? The, the purging? Purging wand. Right, you can have a purging wand. Can you equip that? There you go, you have purge. So we should be able to take out that shrieker with Losa, right? Um. There we go. That one's gone. 
There's a Shrieker. There's a Shrieker. Uh, okay, so uh, Purge is on cooldown uh, for a bit, but not too long. Let's use it on this one. Okay, you are down. Uh, there's some behind this door, which makes them harder to reach, but we should be able to, right? Um, let's do some line of sight stuff, maybe from here. Let's hope they don't shriek at us before we can de-shriek them. There we go. You're done. There's another one over here. I don't know what their range is, but um, let's hope the purging I range. See flurries and air thrums. Could it be slain? Oh! Thank you, Slane. Thank you, Slane. That's very nice of you. We are chilled now, which makes sense. An ice dragon just did his thing. So, um, okay, that's good. I'm still hoping for some source to cure my disease. What's in here? Uh, nothing. I mean, yeah, the Shriekers are not going to carry anything. I don't really want to step into the cursed blood. I'm sure you understand. That seems like a bad idea. I would also like to be cured before I have to enter another battle with... Minus 2 constitution and minus 35% damage. That would be very bad. That would be very bad. Let's see. What is over here? That's... Magister's probably. Bishop Alexander is here. Geist. Magister Markswoman. And Magister... Knight. Oh, you have a lot of armor, huh? That's gonna be a big battle. Let's hope we... And there's a ship. This is... This is the end game. Oh, uh, well, for the first act. This is the end game of the first act. Let's not rush into that. I don't want to be deceased for that battle. That seems like a terrible idea. Um, there's a well-worn chest over there. Wait. No, sir, you have... You have source. Oh, does killing Shriekers give source? Please tell me it stays away. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reload before... It's gone. Okay, very good. Very... No, it's, it's, it's back again. Do I carry anything on me that diseases me? But it only started when I died. Is anything in my bag? Is that supposed to be the case? In which case, deceased seems like um, excessive. That would seem excessive. I've done all three things that are supposed to heal from disease. Uh, don't think I have anything on me that would cause disease like that. Uh, it's just a skull that's death blade that beast was carrying around earlier. No. Don't carry anything on me. It's just I'm deceased forever and ever. I would prefer that not to be the case. I might have to reload and um, go back to before I step into that trap. I'm not going to go in here for now. Uh, I'm going to do a quick save. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the other side first. This is really weird that the disease is just coming back. I don't know. That seems strange to me. Not, not really like something that should be the case. Like, you should be able to get rid of that, right? 
Uh, okay, there's a crate. Nothing in there. Met a crate over here. Okay, a boat that's not real. There's no, there's no um, oars in there, so not really any point to it, anyways. There's two crates, but I don't really care. Once we've conquered this place, we can just teleport it over. It's not real. I'm not really in a hurry to get that specifically. This area over here still is unexplored. There's a little bit over there. Just gonna teleport to the hollow marshes and go there real quick to clear that. Um, okay. Let's see. Right, there's still a lot of fire going on. Also some ice that hasn't melted. But that's okay. Please, everybody... Do your best, okay? There we go. Oh, that was up here because there's a shrieker. Ah, I see. Let's carefully go up here. Please don't run into fire. If... That's all avoidable, you know. I don't know how you, how close you have to get to a shrieker for it to um, to trigger, but um, I don't really want to test the limits. Yeah, and you have another you have another uh, source. Now, if I layer two effects, that should cure me from. From disease, does that then cure me? Let's go to the crafting menu. Uh, grimoire. Fortify scroll. Wait. Fortify scroll. So, let's see. If you cast less on me. And I fortify myself. Ah, fortify yourself. No, the ah, the disease came back. I I don't I don't feel like that's that's intentional. I don't know about this. This everlasting disease. I don't feel like that's that's really something that should be the case, right? That 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 seems. That seems like a bug. I'm not sure, but it, it does seem like it. I might look into it um, in a bit. Tarlene. Who are you? I'll save first, just in case that's a fight. You l You're not designated as a... March on, stranger. I'm busy killing magisters. Okay. Sure. So am I. Um, okay, so in this area, anything good here? Dead Magister. Well, thank you for that. Uh, sadly, a, dad, a, a dead seeker. Let's take a look at this one. You have a log and some gold. Uh, empty potion bottle. Sure. It's an arrow shaft. And another arrow shaft. All right, there's an enemy. Those are decomposing marksmen, decomposing markswoman. Okay, some zombies down here. Okay, okay, okay. We would have the. No, we can't get through here. We would. Uh, we would come from here, and then this one has the high ground. Okay, but we do have teleportation, so we could just yoink it down from its uh, from its high horse. How strong even are they? Like, this seems like a place we could have come across a while ago. Oh, level 4. Yeah, we could have come across this place a while ago. Uh, speaking of... In camp. Like, in, in the, um... In... Here. There was, in uh, like, in the basement of this place, a fight that, uh, at the time, we couldn't win. We could go back and do that one soon. But... I think I'm gonna call it here. Look into the entire situation of the um, disease. 
and I'm gonna, if it's a bug, I'm gonna reload, prevent that from happening, and come back to this point of the game. Uh, if it's not a bug, quite frankly, I'm probably still gonna do the same, because just continuing on deceased forever, that doesn't seem like a good way to play the game. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I'll see you next time. Uh, back at this place without the disease. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, goodbye.